Sloan. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Jeez, I'm not sure I'll come out in one piece if he hit the car. Luckily, a Formula One car is not as brittle as this uh, little car. It's much more, uh, you know, robust in all the components, but mainly on the chassis. The chassis is uh, our survival cell, so it's the structure that protects the driver. The main component is the monocoque. The monocoque is made by 1,500 of little layer pieces of carbon, all and made and composed together. You can think about uh, the monocoque, so the survival cell all around the driver, as an outer shell, an outer carbon shell, an inner honeycomb and an inner skin. All in all, the uh, monocoque uh, weighs 35-40 kg. It has to pass uh, quite a lot of uh, very difficult and very uh, selective uh, crash test. The carbon fiber monocoque is really an amazing invention. About 30 years ago it still used to be aluminium and that was really very, very dangerous. And nowadays the monocoque is really my little safety cell, you know, and it really um, helps a lot to prevent injuries. The great thing about Formula 1 today is that technology is so advanced and the safety has been worked on so much that we can get in the cars and feel completely safe. There's lots of drivers that have crashed over the years, particularly in the last couple of years, some big crashes, and they've got up and walked away, including myself. Of course, uh, all this uh, safety development, uh, safety job is not done only in Formula One. It's very important uh, also on road cars. On road cars, uh, we can speak about uh, a survival cell around uh, the passengers. There are many crash test requirements, many tests that uh, a, a car need to pass before homologation and before uh, selling to the people. Uh, very, very important for uh, this uh, safety aspect. Hey guys. Hey. I'm sorry. No but, worries, man. No worries. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. No problem. Just... No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Safe driving, man. Safe driving. <laughs>